I love using Google Workspace Docs, Sheets and Slides in a big part of my Teachable course materials. I even use Google Drive to store and share other documents like PDFs and images for my students. The big problem is that I either had to set my shared settings to anyone on the internet can view, or annoy my students by manually sharing them as soon as I find out they have enrolled in my course, which could be the next day. No student wants to deal with that. As a Google Workspace developer, I had to create a way to instantly share only teachable students to Google Drive files and folders for each of my courses with a handy user-friendly Google Sheets tool, which I want to share with you. All you need to do is make a copy of the template sheet, connect it to your teachable school, and add in the Google Drive files and folders for any of your courses that you want to share. That's it. When a student enrolls, they will be automatically shared on your course's selected Google Drive files and folders. Check out the link in the description below to get full access to this Google Sheets tool, along with visual instructions and bonus features you'll love for less than the price of a cuppa. Let's check out some extra features. Sharing is set to view by default, but if you want to have a more interactive experience with your students, then you can change the sharing permissions to edit or comment in the Shared Locations tab. As a part of the file and folder sharing process, you will get a list of all students added to your files and folders by course. This will help you keep track of your shared students. Did your students sign up for your course with a non-Google or non-Google Workspace domain account? No problem, I've got you covered. When a user enrolls on your course, your Google Sheets manager script will check if the student has a Google-friendly email. If they don't, they will be sent an email with a Google form attached asking them to provide one. All the student does is click on the form attached, enter the Google-friendly email and hit submit. Notice the unique token. This is to ensure that the student can only do this one time. You can then see when the student has provided their Google email in the Students Added tab. Do you want to ensure that your editors cannot share your files or folders? Or do you want to prevent your students from copying, downloading or printing your files? It's a pain to go into each of your files and folders by hand to do this. Instead, all you have to do is to head to your Shared Location Sheet tab, select the options you want for each of your files and folders and click Update to, well, Update. Done! You've probably already got a course set up with existing students that you want to run this tool with. No problem. Go to the custom menu, Teachable Data, and select Add Students to Course. Enter your Teachable email and password to connect to your school's API, and your existing students will be shared to your selected courses, files, and folders. Oh, and the students will be recorded in the Students Added tab as well. You can access your school's courses, users, and enrollment data right from your Google Sheets Manager. From your Teachable Data menu, you can select either the Get Courses or the Get School Data option for this. It's great to hear from the community of people using my product and I often try and make improvements and add new features where possible. If you want to get involved in the development of this teachable tool once you sign up, just head over to the feedback page. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Click on the link in the description below to get access to this handy tool for less than the price of a cuppa. I'll see you next time.